At Craig and Callie, before he arrived at the rendezvous, Robert stopped by a little cottage. He'd been wandering for days now, his clothes were ruined and he was starving, so he chanced his luck to see if the cottage resident could spare him a little food. The old lady in the cottage, recognising the fine cut of his cloth even though it was ruined, asked him straight away if he was the king in hiding. Judging it safe to confess, Robert told her he was indeed and asked perhaps if she had any sons who might join his force. Men with local knowledge would be extremely useful to Robert. The old lady had three sons, each by a different father. Their names were Mickey, Murdoch and McClurg, and the lady told Robert that they would have her blessing if they joined him. After breakfast, her sons returned to the cottage, and as soon as they knew who Robert was, they volunteered themselves. He asked them what weapons they used and they took him outside to demonstrate their prowess with the bow. McKee spotted two ravens perching on a crag and shot them both with one arrow, much impressing the king. Murdoch, not wanting to be outdone by his older brother, shot a raven clean out of the sky as it flew above them. The third son, though, was not as great at a shot. But that didn't matter because he was a canny lad. Robert didn't know what to do next to deal with the English troops that were pursuing him, but McClurg, he had an idea. They rounded up a large group of cattle, horses, goats and sheep, some wild and some tame, and penned them into a field close to where the English were camped. As dusk fell, when the light was too poor for spies, they frightened the penned animals so that they would stampede around the field, making a huge and confusing amount of noise. Robert's men shouted and talked loudly so that their voices could be heard among the noise. In the camp, the English believed that they were being stalked by a large army, so they were very nervous, couldn't sleep, and their morale fell. Just before dawn, Robert and his force circled round the camp and attacked from the opposite direction to where the field where the animals were. Believing they were being pincered, the English panicked and tried to flee across the boggy ground of the Rannach Moor. Robert's men killed a great number of them. The rest fled. While his men were picking up the spoils of the battle, Robert leaned against a rock to watch. This rock has become a monument to the battle. Bruce would go on to defeat Aymar de Valence at Loudon Hill, which prompted the gravely ill King Edward to leave his sickbed in an attempt to take control of the situation. But King Edward did not survive the journey back to Scotland.